What's going on, everybody? Can I get a year? This is Dre Manning. You are watching 60 Second Sunday. And today, I'm gonna talk to you about how to correctly expose S-Log2. probably read the, or watched YouTube videos that said the same thing over and over. When you're working with S-Log2, you must overexpose by two stops. But what does that mean? Does it mean your image needs to look like this? Or like this? Or like that? I finally figured it out. Your camera is telling you when it's overexposed by two stops. Right now, let's jump over to my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right now I have some footage on my timeline that's been playing in the loop. I recorded this a couple days ago around high noon. Let's look at this screen grab specifically. You should see in the bottom corner, the back of my A6300. I recorded the main video at 24 frames per second with a shutter of 150th, an ISO of 800 and an aperture set to F18. Look, I went out shooting without an ND filter, be better than me and never shoot an S-Log2 without one. You will regret it. The thing I want to bring to your attention is the symbol here in the bottom, right here. This MM, that stands for meter mode. When recording an S-Log2, you must overexpose by two stops. When your meter mode is set on, it will show your exposure levels when you're under or over. Right now, if you look at mine, it says plus two. So what that means is that my exposure is greater than two stops. I always have my meter mode set to center. The other options are multi and spot, and I have never used those. I have no idea what they do. Do not ask me what they do because I will ignore you. It's as simple as that. If you read the meter that's on the back of your camera, it'll show you exactly when you're over by two stops. You want to always use the spot meter because if you're exposing for a specific subject, you know that spot meter is gonna read accordingly, but also keep on your histogram display so that you can see when things start to overexpose in the highlights and in the shadows, that way you don't push it too far. If you're shooting out on a sunny day, unfortunately, you might have to make a sacrifice of lighting your subject and blowing out your sky because what's more important, the subject or the sky? You can always do some like sky replacement or something like that. My name is Dre Manning. This is 60 Second Sunday. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And as always, none of this matters if you don't go out there and apply it. Just get out there and shoot your shot. That was disgusting.